we're just checking the maturity of uh, the, this year's peanut crop to see if it's getting ready for uh, time to dig. Now I guess you start with the power washing and, and then go from there? We do, we do. We uh, get a representative sample from the field and bring it in and, and use a power washer is, is the easiest way to do a large large quantity or a large volume and just check the uh, check the maturity, check the color uh, on, the, uh, on the holes. Okay, let's go take a look at a, at a finished sample. So when you're power washing, essentially, what are you doing to the outside of the peanut? Basically, we're, we're just removing the, the outermost layer of the, uh, of the shell uh, to, get to, to, to get to the color uh, underneath, underneath the outermost part of the shell. Uh, so here's a sample uh, that we have from uh, some of the peanuts that we planted uh, back in early May. Uh, and you can see the range of color. So basically, it, and this is a kind of a, a common chart that we use uh, to, to determine uh, an estimated date of, of digging of the peanut crop. Uh, so of course the, the blacker, the, the more black the holes are, the, uh, the, the more mature they are. Uh, so that means a, a higher grade uh, and a greater profit or greater price for farmers when they get ready to harvest. And then what is a good sort of benchmark sample size when you're doing something like this? Typically uh, to, uh, about anywhere from 150 to 200 uh, pods. Uh, the big thing is make sure it's representative of the field. Uh, don't sample only from, from lower areas uh, in the field or higher areas. Get a representative sample and maybe even one or two uh, different samples uh, from the field. Okay, now these peanuts that we see here that are on the darker side, are they the closest to being ready to harvest then? Yes, yes they are. Um, the, the, typically, when, once you get into brown, uh, brown and black whole, whole colors, um, really 10 to 14 days uh, is kind of the general rule of thumb is that they'll be ready to harvest. Uh, the, the big thing is though, you want to get as, as, as many of these, these uh, less mature uh, uh, kernels uh, or pods uh, into the brown and black because uh, that's that's going to make the grade higher and like we said the, the higher uh, the higher profit potential. Now we've talked a lot about the summer crops with you in the last few weeks but how's the peanut crop been considering all the conditions that uh, producers have had to deal with? You know really um, it's been kind of amazing as long as as long as guys have had enough irrigation water uh, and most of our peanuts are irrigated in, in Oklahoma as long as they've had enough water uh, our, our crop is is, has been pretty resilient. Uh, we got a few, a, a week or so cooler temperatures in August, uh, and we really saw a large set, uh, pod set during that time. Uh, so really, it's gonna be critical that we have what, somewhat of a normal fall as far as temperatures go uh, to get that, that crop mature. Because uh, those, those, those pods that set in, in August, uh, it, it does take a, a normal or maybe even a little later fall than normal, so we can get those mature before, the, before we get our first frost. So you're organizing some upcoming uh, field days where producers can bring some samples and you'll do some of these tests for them? Yeah, um, actually we have two separate field days next week. Uh, Tuesday uh, 27th at Fort Cobb, the cattle research station uh, near Fort Cobb. Uh, we'll offer blasting starting about 8 o'clock in the morning uh, and then we'll have a field tour uh, looking at some of the latest peanut research, varieties, disease uh, research and weed research uh, and then end up with lunch. Uh, then on Thursday we uh, have a, a blasting and a short morning meeting at, uh, the Beck, at Beckham County at the county shop in, in Sayre. Uh, so same thing, we'll start about 9 o'clock blasting peanuts uh, at Sayre. And at those field days, can producers also get some advice on the overall health of their plants? They can, they can. Uh, and one of, one of the things that, that we haven't mentioned yet is uh, looking, at, looking at plant health or vine health uh, as far as uh, when you're going to pick a, a estimated digging date or that. Uh, this year we actually have had very little uh, disease, leaf disease or, or any kind of plant disease just because of the summer we've had. But uh, typically, uh, you know, you want to look at your vine health. Uh, if your vines and your leaves are starting to go decline in health, uh, you probably want to you'll want to dig earlier than than maybe you had estimated. Uh, so you want to keep a, a keep close close eye on things like uh, pod rot. Uh, here's an instance where we have some pod rot. Um, nothing severe, just one one pod. But if if you see a lot of uh, pod rot or or other vine diseases uh, or leaf disease, foliar disease, uh, you probably want to take that into consideration when choosing your uh, choosing your digging date. Okay, Chad, good information. Thanks for teaching us a little bit about peanuts today. And for more information on the field days, you can go to the SUNUP website at sunup.okstate.com.